second question so uh, e and f so the question number 2 is in here e and f are the points on sides pq and p are respectively of triangle pq r for each of the following cases state whether ef is parallel to qr we have to prove that ef is parallel to qr in each cases so to understand this question properly so let us draw a triangle first let us draw a triangle pqr so this is a triangle p q r and the given data is what e and f for the points on sides p q and p r respectively so e is on p q and f is on p r so we have to state that these points are so let us join e f you have to prove that this e f is parallel to q r so let us write the given data here again p e the measurement of p e is how much 3.9 cm so p is 3.9 cm and eq is 3 cm eq is 3 cm and pf is 3.6 cm and fr is 2.4 cm yes so now we have to prove what we have to prove ef is parallel to qr so how we prove from by dpt theorem so let us write by dpt okay so by dpt uh, pe upon eq so pe by eq will be equal to pf upon fr pf upon fr so let us write now see pe the measurement of pe is what 3.9 and the measurement of eq is what 3 that will be equal to pf the measurement of pf is what 3.6 cm and the measurement of fr is what 2.4 cm so now let us simplify this so see uh, we can uh, we can reduce here so the answer is 3 the answer is 3 and the decimal this is the is 9 so 1.3 here and uh, same thing here if we take two ones are two two twos are four 1.2 and here Uh, two ones are is two and one remainder yes so two eights are is sixteen so one point eight so again we can reduce this in the same table so two six are is twelve that is zero point six two six are is twelve and two nine are is eighteen zero decimal nine so now this uh, is equal to one point three by one Which will be equal to zero decimal nine by zero decimal six. Yes. So when we cross multiply this, when we cross multiply this one into zero point nine is zero decimal nine. That will be equal to one point three into zero decimal six. One point three into zero decimal six. Six is a is eighteen. Six is a is six and seven. Seven decimal eight. Zero three is a is zero. Zero one is a is Zero, so zero multiplied any number gives us zero. Now this is seven point eight, so seven decimal eight. So now zero point nine is not equal, is not equal to seven point eight. Since these are not same, the values are not same here. So EF is not parallel to. So therefore here in this case EF is not parallel to QR. Okay. So next, coming to our second question here. So let us draw a triangle again to uh, better understanding of this question. So this is the triangle PQR and E and F for the points. E and F for the points. Let us draw it with E F. Now P E is how much here? So P E is four centimeter and Q E is how much? Q E is four point five centimeter and P F is eight centimeter and R F is Nine centimeter. So again, by DPT theorem. So again, by DPT, PE upon EQ, PE upon EQ, that will be equal to PF by FR, PF by FR. So now PE is how much? Four. And EQ is how much? Four point five. That will be equal to PF. PF is how much? Eight centimeter. And F is nine centimeter. Yes. So 
So now uh, it's not we are not able to cancel here. So let us cross multiply this. That is four into nine will be equal to four point five into eight. So four into nine. Four nine say how much? Thirty six. That will be equal to four point five into eight. So four point five into eight. Eight five say is forty. Yes. So eight four say is thirty two. Thirty two plus four is thirty six. Thirty six point zero. So thirty six and thirty six point zero are equal. So in this case we can tell that therefore P F is parallel to Q R. Yes. So next, coming to the part three question of this uh, question number two. So let us draw a triangle PQR. Yes. So let us draw a triangle PQR. E and F for the points. E and F for the points. Now the length of PQ is one point two eight centimeter. That means from P to Q, the length is one decimal. Two eight centimeter and P R is two point five two point five six centimeter. P R this is how much two point five six centimeter and P is zero decimal one eight. So this is zero decimal one eight centimeter and P F is zero decimal three six centimeter. So now since they have given P D e and P Q data, yes. So we will be using here. Corollary BPT. So by corollary BPT by corollary BPT, PE by PQ. PE upon PQ that will be equal to PF upon PR. Yes. So now PE, the length of PE is how much? Zero decimal one eight, and PQ is how much? One point two eight. This will be equal to PF. PF is zero decimal three six, and PR is how much? Two decimal five six. Now let us reduce this. So let us simplify here. So two nine sa two nine sa is eighty. So two zero decimal nine sa is eighty, and two six sa is twelve, and two four sa is eight. That is zero decimal six four. Yes. Now here. Four nine sa so zero decimal nine sa is thirty six four six sa is twenty four yes and four four sa is sixteen that is zero decimal six four now zero decimal nine by zero decimal six four which will be equal to zero decimal nine by zero decimal six four so therefore in this case we have got an equal so E F is parallel to Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for watching my video. If you have any doubts regarding this question, you can put your comments in the comment section below. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe.